Hi, this is Mark from Georgetown County School District, and I wanted to show you a cool tool um, that you can use inside of Google Docs. And um, you'll notice up at the top of Docs, um, Sheets, and Slides, you notice this option right here called Add-ons. And um, what add-ons are are actually tools you can go out and get and use within these apps. So um, the add-on today that I'm going to use is specifically a tool for Google Docs. I'm just going to go to Add-ons, and I'm going to go ahead and on your screen, if this is the first time you're doing it, you're going to choose Get Add-ons, um, and then you're going to allow your Google account to access different add-ons um, and vice versa. So I'm actually going to go to Get Add-ons and show you the process. I would just go to this page, um, and again, uh, I would type in today, highlight tool, and I'm going to hit enter. And when I do that, you'll notice um, there's several highlighter tools that appear, but this is the one that I've been using, um, and it's absolutely great, and more importantly, it fits my budget. It's free. So on your screen, if you haven't added this, you'll see this little free next to the highlight tool. You're going to go ahead and click on that free. Um, and follow that dialog so that way um, you allow access for that um, into your Google Docs. Once you've added it, you're going to come back to the Google Doc that you're in that you'd like to annotate, and you're going to choose Add-ons, and you're going to come down now to Highlight Tool. You'll then see where it says Start. Now, every time you open a Google Doc, you will have access to this add-on, so it's just a one-time um, get and allow that you're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to create some highlighters. So today if I was using this in say kindergarten or first grade and I wanted them to go through and um, highlight with a purpose, highlight maybe color words in one color and number words in another, they would just simply come down here and go to create highlighter. And they're going to Again, choose maybe number words. And if they wanted to change the color, they could click on this. And they could come anywhere on here, choose the color, and hit OK. And then there's a little plus down here. So if I want to add another highlighter, I could come in here. And I think the other one I said was color words. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And again, I know the example I'm showing you um, is for kindergarten and first grade. However, you could go ahead and use this, um, you know, with high school students and college students as well, um, just obviously with a different purpose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through and I'm going to highlight my number words. Um, I've had years of training of finding number words in poems, so I know I make this look easy. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight these. And then after I find all my number words, I'm going to go now and highlight with a purpose instead of making the rainbow, and I'm going to highlight now my color words. So I'm going to go ahead and come down through and highlight these as well. So once I've highlighted all of my color words and all of my number words, then all I'm going to do is I know you're like, well, okay, so I've seen highlighter tools before. Um, what I'm going to do next is, an or is export this. And I can export this two ways. Um, one, I can do by sequence. And if I hit by sequence, it's going to go ahead and it's going to take these highlighted terms and it's going to put them in a table in the order that I found them. Um, I like to do this by color, so it's by the topics that I set up. And I'm going to go ahead and hit by color to export this. And I've got a choice. I can do this on the same document. So I could just click this document and it's going to go ahead and put the table at the bottom of the page. Or I can have this. Um, export into a completely new document which is going to be saved um, in my Google Drive. I'm going to go ahead and open this and this is where this is pretty cool. So all of those number words um, were then placed into a table and organized for me. The same thing with those color words. And you can see stored highlights for Christmas dreams. Um, that's right there. And again, it is included in this. Um, you can create as many highlighters as you like. You can edit them, change them. Um, so again, no matter what the purpose is, you can always go back in and change these. And what else is cool is this is now my default set. Um, so if I close out of this and say I opened it back up again, so if I just went to add-ons and I came down to a highlight tool and hit start, the last set that I had in my default set um, is now going to remain there. 
So again, good luck uh, annotating and highlighting using the highlight tool.